Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be learning about capacitors. We are going to be learning about what? Capacitors. Capaci capacitors are electrical materials that are used to store charges. When you go to some houses, they have what we call inverter in their house. When the neighbor takes light, there will still be light in their house. Why? Because they have inverters. Those inverters that they have are made up of capacitors. And why are they still having light? Because the capacitors that are inside the inverter, they are able to store the charges. The Nepal light, when the Nepal light is still on, they will be storing the charge. So that when Nepal goes out, the charges that are already stored in the capacitor will be used to lighten up the house and you can use it to do other things. So you see that capacitors are very, very important in our everyday life. So today we are going to be treating capacitors in uh, uh, electricity. So what are capacitors or what is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electrical material used for storing electric charges. So a capacitor is an electrical material used for storing electrical charges. Our inverter is made up of capacitors, like I, I told us, the inverters that we have in our houses and in our offices, that even when there is no leper light, no PSC, no electricity, we are still able to have light or have electricity. So those inverters are made up of capacitors. And basically what does, uh, what, what are the components of a capacitor? A capacitor consists of two metal plates, two metal plates. A capacitor consists of two, a plate like this and another plate. Two metal plates separated by an insulator, separated by an insulator. And this insulator is called a dielectric. And it can also be separated by oil or air. So depending on the insulator that you're using, you can have one that is separated by oil or air. And a capacitor is represented using this symbol. This is the symbol of a, cap a capacitor. When you're drawing an electric circuit, you make sure that you represent a, cap a capacitor with this symbol. If you are representing a cell, it will be like this. This is the positive terminal and the negative. But for a capacitor, the two horizontal, uh, the two vertical lines are equal. Now we have different types of capacitors. We have what we call the fixed capacitor. We have the variable capacitor. We have the leading gear capacitor and the electrolytic capacitor. So we have four types of capacitors: fixed, variable, leading gear, and electrolytic capacitor. Now we talk about the capacitance of a capacitor, the ability of a capacitor to store charges. So a capacitor that has very high capacitance means that it will store more charge, so that when the nepal light or when the electricity goes out, it can supply much light. But if this capacitor has very small capacitance, the power is lesser. So what is the capacitance of a capacitor? The capacitance of a capacitor is simply the amount of charges received when the potential difference between the two parallel uh, parallel plates is equal to one volt. That is the for unit capacitance. So and it can be represented by saying C equal to charge all over volts. So capacitance of a capacitor is simply equal to the amount of charge stored all over the potential, potential voltage measured in volts. And this capacitance of a capacitor can be measured in farad. Farad, that's the, uh, the SI unit or the basic unit for measuring capacitance, farad. And it has smaller units like picofarad, which is 10 to power minus 12 farad. And you can also have microfarad. This is the most uh, most commonly used unit, smaller unit of farad, microfarad, and it's simply equal to 10 to the power minus 6 farad. So in subsequent calculations, we are going to be using this formula. Capacitance is equal to quantity of charge all over voltage, potential difference. So in the next class, we are going to be looking at the factors that affect the capacitance of the capacitor.